Hey, I'm Chris Paris, Chief Investment Officer with Oak Harvest Financial Group. We're an investment management and retirement planning advisor located in Houston, Texas, and welcome to our December 17th YouTube Stock Talk, keeping you connected to your money. Well, the holidays are upon us, and it's time to talk about Santa Claus. Whether you believe in the man or not, or celebrate the Christmas holidays or not, historically, the positive seasonal effects on the overall stock market is a real historical phenomenon, statistically speaking. Given our 2022 market outlook, and given we are filming this segment before the Federal Reserve met earlier this week, we're not gonna try to predict whether the anomaly in the calendar year continues this year. And given our longer term focus for clients, we won't be trying to trade tactically around whether it happens over the next two weeks. However, our investment team did want to put out some data to educate our clients and viewers on the tactical trading strategy and its historical pattern. And viewers, please recall that year to date, against the calls for unprecedented market action, it's been a very normal first year presidential cycle in the stock markets. So here's the data. While many strategists talk about the strong seasonal tendencies for the month of December, of the 12 months in the year, it has the highest percentage chance of being positive, as it is up almost 75%, or three out of four years. Few strategists break it down and discuss how December by itself is lone, unique month, whose intermonth trading pattern is exactly opposite the other 11 months out of the year. So what do I mean by this? Unlike the other 11 months, December shows much stronger return over the last 10 trading days of the year versus the first 10 trading days. According to Merrill Lynch data since 1929, that's over 90 years of data. The first 10 trading days of December have basically been an average return of zero. The first half of December, a big zero. However, the last 10 trading days are much stronger, averaging almost one and a quarter percent return into year end. Hence the phrase, the Santa Claus rally. Additionally, the Santa party has usually hung around till early January as the first 10 trading days of January have had an average return of about 0.75% or three quarters of a percent. So cumulatively, the 20 day return from the second half of December through the first 10 days of January has averaged 2%. For those that are tactically inclined, that's a pretty nice expected return with pretty good odds. Many viewers will ask, well, if it's so well researched and advertised, why does it keep working given the efficient market thesis? Well, listeners, that's a great question with no perfect answer. However, I will give you some recent data why it is more likely than not to happen again this year. We've discussed investor sentiment and positioning many times over the past three years in our podcasts. Well, the first data set published by AAII, that data set being an individual investor sentiment, hit its highest bearish reading for all of 2021 post the Thanksgiving early December sell-off. Recall the investment team at Oak Harvest follows this data as it tends to be a great contrary indicator on the market's next move. Investors were nearing euphoric levels in mid-November, near the market's short-term top. And then, in a matter of two weeks, they were nearing max fear in early December after the market had dropped a little over 5%. So much for buy low and sell high. The second data set I monitor in real time is the cost of insuring your portfolio against declines. And I've spoken about this cost multiple times over the last three years. Well, listeners, on Friday, December 3rd, in the depth of margin calls for selling in panic. What did our insurance indicator read? Well, it's saying the same thing, the near same panic reading as Friday, October 30th, 2020, pre-presidential election. Longer term listeners might recall that being the low for the last 12 months and the day we released our podcast titled, Waiting No More, This Is How Early Bull Markets Look. Will we all look back at December 3rd, 2021 in the next 10 to 12 months as the market's low for the subsequent 12 months? I don't know, but I do know that this reading tells us that investors are no longer euphoric and bullishly positioned for a year-end Santa Claus rally. So if pressed on our opinion of an upcoming year-end Santa Claus rally, I would venture a guess that whether you believe in the man, the myth, or the legend, that the odds are high that Santa delivers his gifts on time to close out what has been by Oak Harvest Forecast for over 12 months, a very normal, profitable, and merry year. Viewers, give us a call here at Oak Harvest and ask to speak to one of our advisors. Let us help you craft a financial plan that meets your retirement goals needs first and your greed second. Give us a call at 877-896-0040. We are here to help you on your financial journey into and through your retirement years. 
Many blessings, stay safe, and have a great weekend. I'm Chris Paris with Oak Harvest.